Hi Mooresville, my name is Kelly Rice Schmidt and I am a Mooresville based children's author and um, my first two books uh, came out in the last two years. I wrote I Ship, which came out in 2023, and I Fuel, which just came out in 2024, and both are children's picture books. So my first book, I Ship, is all about uh, container ships, and it's informational fiction, which means that it has a fictional narrator because it's narrated by the container ship itself, and container ships don't really talk, um, but it's full of facts and information all about container ships. And my newest book, I Fuel, is all about energy, also narrated by fuel in this case, another inanimate object, but in this case, it came from my time in the energy industry where I just knew kids would be so fascinated about this world and how it works, but I wanted to inspire them to be able to learn about how our energy is now so they could become really innovative thinkers to find ways to change how our energy might be for the future. So it follows energy starting way back in prehistoric times. So it starts with the dinosaurs and then it goes through how energy forms, so there's a lot of stuff in there for geology lovers with rock formation and oil formation. And then it goes through the refining, how do we make oil useful into the things we use today like gasoline or we turn it into a lot of plastics which you might see in a lot of your toys or special medical devices. And then also what are all the bad things about oil? So um, how is it a problem that we're dependent on oil and what are some ways that researchers are changing the future of what it might look like finding new ways and innovations that we can change things. And I hope that this book will allow kids to understand where we are so they can get us to a new place moving forward. So um, I think that I've always kind of been a storyteller since I was a young child. I am the oldest of four siblings and I used to tell my siblings bedtime stories. So I would make up these fun stories to help them fall asleep um, when we were playing games or if we were at sleepover or something fun like that. And um, another thing is that in my elementary school we had this really cool bookmaking lab where we got to not only write the stories but illustrate our stories as well and then we got to turn them into an actual bound book which was really cool and I actually have some of them which is really neat that I could look back and see the stories that I made in elementary and middle school and I think that that was definitely a, a spark of inspiration for me to want to be a writer as well. It's kind of amazing. I do traditional publishing, which means that I worked with a whole team of experts to make these books, starting with the illustrator. So. Um, I didn't get to choose who the illustrator was going to be. I had some input in the process, but the publishing team actually paired me with my amazing illustrator. Her name is Jam Dong. She illustrated both of these and she actually lives in Boston and I've never met her. She was born in China. So it's a really cool process that when you make traditionally published picture books, they're extremely collaborative. And even though our two names are on the covers of these books, in reality, a whole team of people from editors to the design team, from the people that actually print the physical book and everyone that checks to make it perfect really work together to help make it just a fantastic product that everyone is excited about. And I just didn't realize how incredibly collaborative it was going into it. It's interesting because this seems really simple, but the key that you really have to do is actually write. So there are so many people that love the idea of being a writer or they say, okay, I really want to be a writer, but they don't actually get the words on the page. So the first step that you really need to take is to dedicate time, set aside whatever little pockets of time you have and actually get words on the page. And the more that you write, the better you're going to become because you're going to build up a volume that you can then take the time to edit and refine and you can slowly work on your craft that way. And the other tip I have is to find a way, some process that works for you to collect your ideas. So everyone can come up with great ideas, but the problem is that a lot of us lose them. We might get them when we're you know, sleeping or in a busy moment. And so if you find that way to capture it, um, it can really be helpful so you can turn those ideas into stories and then eventually books. So for me, I have a note that I use on my phone and I also tend to have some kind of paper or notebooks with me around all the time.